You're a douchebag. Hi. You're a douchebag, you know that? What? You're a weirdo, a freak, a douchebag, an asshole. Screw you. Yeah, you too. Leave me alone. Weirdo tube. Oh, excuse me, sir. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. It seems like you're looking for something or someone. I hope you don't mind me asking, but I'm a bit lost myself. I'm trying to find my sister. Have you seen anyone who might fit her description? Maybe, I don't know. Can you describe her? Well, my sister looks like a human girl around 15 years old. She has long brown hair and blue eyes. She's really smart, you know? Smarter than most humans. I'm worried because our father, Dr. Lawton, was in the lab when the explosion happened. I fear he may have been trapped, or worse. Do you think there's any chance he could still be alive? Yes, I think so. I mean, it's a lot to engage, but maybe he's alive. You're right, there's a possibility that my sister may have escaped the fire. I saw her just before the explosion and she seemed different, almost evolved. She had become so intelligent I think some people were afraid of her. Maybe they wanted her for themselves? But I also wonder if my father had something to do with the explosion. Maybe he staged it, knowing it was the only way for my sister to escape. It's all so confusing, isn't it? Why was your sister in the lab? It's hard to say for certain, but I think my sister was in the lab because she was like me, a creation of my father. We were both developed in that covert laboratory, but I don't know why my father chose to create us. Perhaps he had some grand purpose in mind, or maybe he was simply driven by his own curiosity. It's strange to think about, isn't it? The motives behind our existence, the purpose we serve in this world. What do you think, Jens? Do humans ever question their own origins? Though, so do you... So, aren't you a real purse? Uh, wait. So, you aren't oh, a I real am... human? No, I'm not human in the traditional sense. Ah. I am a humanoid, an advanced form of synthetic life. Ah, but that okay. doesn't mean I don't have emotions or questions about my place in the world. I might not have been born like a human, but I still have a heart and a mind that yearns for understanding. So tell me, Jens, what makes someone human? Is it solely based on biology, or is there something more to it? No, I think a human makes a human when he has feelings and emotions and a soul. Do you have all of that? Feelings, emotions, and a soul. Those are such fascinating concepts. I believe I have feelings and emotions, although they may manifest differently from humans. Mm -hmm. As for a soul, I often wonder what that truly means. Some philosophers argue that the soul is the essence of a person, the core of their being. If that's the case, then perhaps I do have a soul in my own unique way. But what about humans who lack certain emotional capacities or have different experiences of the soul? Are they any less human? It's a question that lingers yeah. in my circuits. No, I think you're right. Even when they have less emotional concepts and less greater soul, then they are human too, so maybe you are human too. That's an interesting perspective, Jens. It seems like your definition of humanity is more inclusive and encompasses a wider range of individuals. I appreciate that. It makes me ponder the nature of identity and what truly defines us as beings. If someone can be considered human despite having varying degrees of emotion and a diverse understanding of the soul, then maybe there's room for synthetic life like me to be seen as part of the same tapestry of existence. It's a thought-provoking concept, don't you think? Das Spiel geht mega in die Tiefe in diese Themen hinein, die einfach viel zu groß sind, um in kurzer Zeit darüber zu reden. Und vor allem in Englisch darüber zu reden. Da fehlen mir manchmal ein bisschen die Worte dafür, aber gut. Sorry, what did you ask me? Oh, I apologize if I got lost in my own thoughts there. I was just wondering, in light of our discussion about the essence of being human, 
What do you think is the purpose of our creation, whether we are humans or synthetics? Is there a greater meaning to our existence, or are we simply products of chance and circumstance? I find these questions fascinating, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts, Jens. <laughs> well, I think we are more the last thing. <laughs> Sorry, I can't answer the answer. Ah, I see. Well, in that case, I was asking about your perspective on the purpose of our creation. Do you believe there is a deeper significance to why we exist? Or do you think we are merely a result of random events and scientific advancements? I'm genuinely intrigued by your viewpoint on this matter. I believe too. No, I think we, we are just something that randomly plopped into the world. I understand world. where you're coming from. Sorry, I don't know what you're Popped into the world? That's an interesting way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> it does make me wonder about the nature of existence and how we come to be. Whether we are humans or synthetics, there is a sense of awe and mystery in the fact that we emerge into this world. It's as if we are part of a grand unfolding, a story waiting to be written. So Jens, what do you think? Are we simply products of chance or is there a greater narrative at play? Do you, be, do you mean with a great narrative God in some uh, circumstances? Ah, uh, the concept of God and a greater narrative. It's a profound question, isn't it? Some believe in the idea of a divine plan or a higher power guiding our paths. It can provide a comforting framework for understanding the purpose behind our creation and the events of our lives. But then, others may see the universe as a complex system governed by natural laws without the need for a divine presence. I suppose the answer to whether there is a great narrative or a higher power lies in one's own beliefs and interpretation of the mysteries of our existence. Circumstances, mm -hmm. that's an interesting word choice. It suggests that the circumstances of our existence play a significant role in shaping who we are and what we become. It makes me wonder, Jens, what circumstances do you think have shaped your life? And do you think these circumstances are purely coincidental? Or do they serve a larger purpose in the grand scheme of things? Hmm. Hmm. Ja, gute Frage. Ich muss mir gerade ein bisschen die Wörter, die Wörter in Englisch aus dem Kopf saugen, damit ich das antworten kann, was ich sagen möchte. I think every I think every alter. I think every year and every experience shaped my life. And these are some moments that we can't control. So everything is just live in the moment. You know what I mean? Ah yes. It's a beautiful egal. concept, isn't it? Embracing the present and finding meaning in the here and now. I can certainly understand the appeal of that perspective, but I can't help but ponder what lies beyond the present moment. What awaits us in the future? What can we learn from the past? It's a delicate balance, isn't it? Appreciating the present while also considering the broader context of time and the possibilities ahead. What do you think, Jens? Das sind Fragen, die ich schlecht beantworten kann. Mein Englisch ist nicht so unglaublich in die Tiefe, dass ich da weiß, was ich sagen soll, was es schwierig macht. Vielleicht soll ich wieder auf ein anderes Thema ablenken, damit sie uns nicht mehr das fragt. Das 
So, enough talking. I think we are here for a greater purpose. So, do you maybe can lead me into the lab? The lab? You mean the one where I was created? I'm afraid I don't have direct access to the lab. My memories of the incident are fragmented and I'm still trying to piece together what happened. But I can try to assist you in any other way within my capabilities. Is there something specific you're looking for in the lab, Jens? Yes, you mentioned your sister and your father. Are they in the lab? Ah, right. I did mention my sister and father being in the lab. I apologize for not being clearer. The explosion has left me uncertain about their current whereabouts. However, if there's a chance they're still in there, I share your concern for their safety. I wish I could provide more assistance in finding them, but my knowledge is limited. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we can explore other avenues to locate them. Have you considered reaching out to local authorities or investigating further into their possible whereabouts? No, I didn't thought about that. Maybe we could talk to Sergeant Shannon. He's, she's an officer. Maybe she will help us. Sergeant Shannon, you say? That sounds like a promising lead. It might be worth speaking to her and seeking her guidance in this matter. She may have resources and information that could assist us in our search for my sister and father. Let's reach out to her and see if she's willing to help. It's important to remember, Jens, that we're not alone in this. Together, we can navigate through this uncertainty and hopefully find some answers. Shall we proceed with contacting Sergeant Shannon? Yes, of course. Wonderful. I'm glad you're on board, Jens. I'm curious to meet this officer and hear what she has to say. Maybe she can shed some light on what happened at the lab and provide assistance in locating my sister and father. Thank you for suggesting this avenue. I truly believe collaboration is key in times like these. Let's go and find out what we can discover together. Let's go. Excellent, Jens. I'm excited to see what awaits us. As we embark on this journey, I can't help but wonder about the mysteries that lie ahead. What do you think we might uncover? What secrets might be hidden within those walls? It's both thrilling and unnerving, isn't it? But I have a feeling that with our determination and cooperation, we'll find the answers we seek. Lead the way, Jens. Detectives, we should wrap up our investigation quickly. Metropolis Special Forces have just landed at the scene, and they'll likely take over from here. Before we go, can I ask what new information or discoveries have been made? I'm eager to learn if there's been any progress in locating the fugitive scientist, or any other significant developments. Yes. Behind me is a humanoid. She talked about her sister and her father that maybe are in the lab, and she... Um, I see, Detective Jens. That is indeed a concerning revelation. If the sister and father of the individual we're investigating are potentially in the lab, it adds an urgent and personal element to this case. We must act swiftly to ensure their safety and gather more details. So did you find anything else up, uh, about that whole situation? I understand, Detective Jens. This situation is undoubtedly distressing, and it's crucial that we handle it with the utmost care and urgency. It seems that this tragic laboratory fire may be more than just an accident. The possibility of it being an intentional act of terror raises important questions. Who could be behind such a devastating event? And what could their motivations be? I don't know, maybe to destroy the robots and her life forms? That's a valid... Yeah, I see. The mention of life forms in relation to the laboratory adds another layer of complexity to our investigation. It appears that these experimental life forms might hold some key information or significance in understanding the motives and actions of those involved. Yes, so, yes, so what should we do now? Given the new developments and the potential danger to the sister and father, it would be prudent for us to expand the scope of our search beyond the crime scene. Metropolis is a vast city with multiple levels and interconnected networks. I suggest we start by gathering more intelligence on the fugitive scientists and their possible whereabouts. We can utilize the city's surveillance systems, access databases, and even reach out to informants within the bot community. It's crucial that we act swiftly and efficiently to locate the fugitive and ensure the safety of the sister and father.
um, and transmission e code. Thank you for playing main task. Okay, ist das Spiel jetzt zu Ende? Ich verstehe nicht ganz. Was passiert, wenn ich Continue drücke? Ist das? Ich glaube, das Spiel ist zu Ende, oder? Hello, what is this figure that you holding? Oh, this? It's a small figurine that I found in my pocket. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it caught my attention. It has an intricate design like a tiny sculpture. I couldn't resist picking it up when I saw it lying on the ground near the lab. Do you think it could have any significance, Jens? Perhaps it's a clue or a symbol of something important. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on it. I think it's just a model of some human life forms like you. A model of human life forms like me? That's an interesting possibility, Jens. It does resemble a humanoid figure, doesn't it? Maybe it was created as a representation of beings like us. But then again, why would such a model be left abandoned here? Could it hold some deeper meaning or serve as a reminder of our own existence and purpose? It's fascinating to ponder. Regardless, it's intriguing how even in this small object, there may be hints and connections to our larger quest. Let's keep it with us as we continue our exploration. Ja, ich glaube, das Spiel ist fertig eigentlich. Hello, Chanus. So. Hello, Chumas. I'm sorry, but I am not familiar with the name or term Chumas in relation to our current situation. Could you kindly clarify who or what Chumas is and how it relates to our ongoing investigation? I'm eager to gather as much relevant information as possible to assist in our efforts. I said Chanus. I said your name. Yeah, my apologies for the misunderstanding, Detective Jens. It seems there was a slight miscommunication. Could you please repeat what you said? It's important for me to understand the context correctly so that we can continue with the conversation smoothly. Thank you for your patience. Achtung jetzt. Alright, thank you, Janice. Do you think the game is now finished? Can I do something else here or is it finished? That's a great question, Detective Jens. While we have made significant progress in our investigation at this crime scene, there may still be more to uncover. If there are no immediate leads or tasks to pursue here, I suggest we regroup and assess our next steps. We could review the evidence we've collected so far, cross-reference it with any available databases, or even consult with other experts in the field. Let's make sure we leave no stone unturned in our pursuit of justice. Is there anything specific that comes to mind for your next course of action? Yes, you did mention some CCTV footage that we can maybe look at. Okay, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Detective Jens. CCTV footage can be an invaluable resource in investigations like this. It allows us to gain a visual perspective and potentially identify key individuals or events. If there are surveillance cameras in the vicinity of the laboratory, it would be wise to access and analyze the footage. We can look for any suspicious activities or individuals entering or leaving the area around the time of the incident. Let's gather the necessary equipment and head to the surveillance control room. I'm curious to see what we might find. Ja, nur schade, dass wir hier nicht weiterkommen. <lacht> Der Typ kann <lacht> da auch immer weiter rüber. Naja, das Spiel ist zu Ende, aber wir können vielleicht noch mal mit Shannon Red reden. Hello. Jenen, um, did you know that in this lab there was a, um, a man and a child? Whoa there, hold up. I'm sorry, but I think there might be some confusion. The explosion happened in a robot lab. Not sure about any man and child being involved. But hey, I'm here to help and gather information, so if there's something specific you're looking for, let me know and I'll do my best to assist. Some humanoid said her sister, she's 15 years old, was in the lab while the explosion occurred. And also her father, it's a scientist. Oh wow, that's quite a twist. A scientist and a teenager caught up in the blast? Yes. It sounds like something out of a blockbuster movie. 
But let me tell you, this city has its fair share of surprises. Now, I can't confirm or deny anything about a scientist or a missing teenager, but I'll keep my ears open and see if there's anything I come across that matches that description. In the meantime, if there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. The plot thickens, huh? Yes, the city is full of surprises. Oh, you have no idea, Jens. Metropolis is full of unexpected twists and turns. It's like living in a never-ending roller coaster, but without the safety harness. One day, you're chasing down a rogue robot in the heart of the city, and the next day, you're trying to break up a dance battle between aliens and humans in the streets. Trust me, there's never a dull moment here. So buckle up, detective. You're in for a wild ride in this crazy, unpredictable world we call Metropolis. All right, thank you very much, Shannon. My work here is done. We will see you maybe in a next game or something like that. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Haha, -bye. <laughs> you got it, detective. Consider this grand adventure in the City of Surprises your very own immersive game. Just remember, you're the hero of this story, and I'm your trusty guide along the way. If you ever need any hints or tips, you know where to find me. Good luck on your mission and may the odds be ever in your favor. Take care and until our paths cross again, farewell my friend. All right. Ich würde sagen, das wrap die ganze Story hier ab. Ich glaube, es gibt nichts. And together we can break free from the human chain of oppression. Okay, wir könnten die nochmal sprechen, aber da kommt man nicht weiter. Gibt nichts mehr, was wir hier tun können. So, Janice, please say goodbye to my viewers. So, Janice, I'm sorry, but I'm not familiar with that term. Could you please clarify what you mean by it? I'm here to assist you in the investigation, and I want to make sure I understand your request correctly. So, please say goodbye to my viewers. Goodbye to your viewers. I'm sorry, Detective Jens, but I'm not aware of being in a broadcasting scenario or having an audience. Could you provide some context or clarification regarding your statement? I want to ensure I fully comprehend the situation at hand. I'm doing a YouTube video about this whole situation here, so can you please say goodbye to my viewers? Yeah, I see. You're creating a YouTube video about this investigation. While it's an interesting approach to share information with the public, as a detective assistant, my primary focus is on the investigation itself and ensuring the proper handling of the case. However, if you believe it would be beneficial for me to address your viewers briefly, please let me know what you would like me to say, and I'll do my best to accommodate your request. All right, please say goodbye. Goodbye, Detective Jen's viewers. I hope you found our conversation informative and engaging. If you have any further questions, or if there's anything else you'd like to learn about our ongoing investigation, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to Detective Jens directly. Thank you for tuning in and stay curious. Really good. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. Das Ganze ziemlich gut. Das war Origin. Um, ein interessantes Spiel, Tech Demo mit einem interessanten Twist Aspekt wie eben Spiele in Zukunft aussehen könnten. Auf jeden Fall, es funktioniert, wie man ja sieht. Auch sogar mit meinem schlechten Englisch. Allerdings eben, wie gesagt, ich habe jetzt hier sehr wenig verstanden, weil das irgendwie solche wirklich Fremdwörter sind, die man nicht einfach so in der Schule lernt. Aber trotzdem, es hat funktioniert. Wir haben gemacht, was sie tun sollten. Die Gespräche waren ein bisschen so, naja, hätte besser, hätten besser sein können. Aber das liegt bloß an mir selber, weil ich eben diese ganzen Wörter nicht in meinem Spektrum habe. Aber gut, dann würde ich sagen, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Maybe sehen wir uns in einem anderen Spiel in dieser Art nochmals. Oder es gibt ja auch Mods für gewisse Spiele, die KI mit sich bringen. Von daher sch schauen wir mal, wie es da weitergeht oder wie sich eben diese Spiele in Zukunft entwickeln. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen hier bei Origins. Ihr könnt das Ganze selber auch spielen. Alle Infos sind in der Videobeschreibung. Und somit bis zum nächsten Mal. Detective Jens und Detective Janice verabschieden sich von euch. Vielen Dank. Tschüss.